to Dave's kitchen. Is it your kitchen that you do D&D in? Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to go to Dave's kitchen where he is preparing his players for a game of Dungeons and Dragons. Woo! Yeah. Oh, you're here already. Okay. Hey, come on in. Ignore all the burn marks on the kitchen. <laughs> Uh, that was for me trying to make a prop so I could have actually done D&D with you. Uh, and that turned out real bad. Oh, and, oh yeah, that was real. I was supposed to be this show as a PC. Not this time, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, everybody knows how to make props. <laughs> Aside from this guy. <laughs> That's okay, that's okay. Uh, look, Shani, uh, uh, she set up a great adventure for, uh, for you last time. She told me all about it. She gave me her notes, and uh, she was like, look, I'm a, I need a little bit more help. Uh, I need a DM that's willing to be a little bit more brutal. <laughs> a little bit more vicious. And <laughs> she called me. After all, I'm willing to burn myself for Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> With that, I uh, I just need to catch up with uh, you two, uh, so that I know like who you two characters are, so that way you know we can all love them more, and then that way when once we love them, then when I kill them, you're so much more sadder, uh, which is what I love. So uh, let's uh, let's start right. Here, Angela. Uh, tell me about your character. Uh, I am playing Yara, De Yara Odessa Lucas Oak. Uh, yeah. That's YOLO as an acronym. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you're one of those kind of players. Yes, I am playing a cleric of Aldemara. Aldemara being the god of like trickery and mischief. He's chaotic neutral. Right. Also known as the laughing rogue. Mm-hmm. Craig's other gods. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Love it! And, and, and so, uh, just a really quick, uh, what happened last time to your character? Do you, do you know? <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot. That's fine, that's There's fine. There's a lot. Uh, I remember riding a bear. <laughs> um, so you're one of those kind of players. <laughs> Gotcha. <laughs> Perfect. Well, I'm glad that Shani has great notes. <laughs> All right, uh, and uh, Jared, why don't I... What? This is Abernathy. Aber... Abernathy. Yes. I'm Abernathy Strong. Do I look like some Jared to you? <laughs> some handsome boy named Jared? No! I am this dirty, fur-covered druid! <laughs> so you're one of those kind of <laughs> Gotcha. Uh, okay, you're a druid then, yes. Abernathy. Uh, uh, do you remember what happened? <laughs> or to yourself, I guess? Well, it started as a child. I was, uh... <laughs> okay, we do not have time for this. Uh, well then, well, the adventure I, I came up for uh, you two tonight... I just want to hold you. <laughs> Tell us about our <laughs> You're also one of these kind of players. Um, no, I have a, a wonderful adventure. I'll, I'm, I'm picking up where we left off, but this is going to be one that involves getting to the heart of the issue with the iron golems. Remember that they were causing you all sorts of trouble. They took your daddy. They did take my father, yes. <laughs> And now you're investigating that. This, you're rubbing my hand. <laughs> I just want to make sure your hands are okay. You seem a little incompetent about keeping care of them. No. <laughs> oh. And I just increased the DCs for all encounters. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I <laughs> well, with that, let's get ready to play some YG. Our heroes are proceeding across the uh, Stonewing Mountains and they're coming upon the capital city, Auditine. It is this uh, city that uh, sits along the coast 
on the edge of the Stone Wing Mountains. And it's a wonderful city, a busy port city uh, that makes wonderful weapons. It's also where uh, these iron golems that have caused all the troubles in the last adventure and where they're trying to investigate now. Now, our good friend Yara, she wants to get some more information, so she goes to the one place in the city that she believes might help. There is a carnival set up on the edge of town. And in this carnival, uh, uh, all sorts of uh, uh, entertainers and hucksters and animals and uh, are all entertaining the ducks. And Yara and Akhnafi, they enjoy themselves there. But they want to make their way into the backstage area where they can talk to some of the entertainers to find out about these iron dolls. Oh, that was so good! You almost had it that time! Oh! I almost had it that time! Now, don't throw the juggling ball. I'm sorry! I'm sorry, I don't trust things coming at my face! Look how good I did! You are as magnificent at what you do. I am bewildered because this is amazing. I just watched birds for 20 years, and I've never seen the feats of man so amazing as this. Do another! <laughs> Incorporated. The Cunningham Pragmatic Constructs Incorporated. The Cunningham 
Cunningham Pragmatic Posse. Uh, Cun Cunningham Pragmatic Co Constructs Incorporated. Oh, 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 right, the dice bag! Oh. <laughs> that doesn't sound like my type of chaos. An iron golem comes in uh, to the like area of where the uh, performers have gathered. Desist criminal activity. Maybe I should have done something about this sooner. <laughs> but the juggling! I'm good. Mm -hmm. Fight check. Yeah! Woo! That's right! I can't go by one scene without a fight check of some sort. So, with that, who would like to roll on behalf of the Yaros? I got that. here. Alright, somebody come up. You have to come up here. Destroy my life. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and who would like to roll on behalf of the Iron Golems? Yeah. Yes! Please! Take that from me. Go ahead and roll on stage. Remember, Abernathy, you want to touch them. Go for it. Go for it. So. Oh. 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 <laughs> the hero's got a lucky number 13. That's my lucky number. <laughs> the Iron Golems. Get an even oh. luckier oh. 14! Oh. I'm just gonna hang you over here and cast buff spells. Cease <laughs> your criminal activities! <laughs> Cunningham. He, uh, his hair is uh, made out of snakes and they writhe around. <laughs> and he also has one assistant, which is this Grimlock. A Grimlock, if you do not know, are these creatures that are kind of like uh, they live in the Underdark and they don't have any eyes. They, they just have, like, instead of lids, it's just blank uh, stairs here. 
So there, uh, he is the only person able to uh, speak with Brashear. Well, Bondo, it seems that the hostile takeover has been a smashing success. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> I hate that joke. It's okay. Ha 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 ha! Well, I suppose we're the most powerful people in the land. You are. <laughs> How do you think you are? <laughs> I love this. <laughs> that stone <is> smashing. <laughs> Bongo. <laughs> oh. <laughs> find me the most delicious ostrich egg you can find. I also would like a watercress <laughs> salad. <laughs> and I'm just thinking of this new thing. It's like a circle of bread. It's like a, uh, like a bagel it just comes to mind. <laughs> so invent that and bring it to me. <laughs> <laughs> I am completely unchallenged. <laughs> Bongo heads out to try to get this ostrich egg. But we uh, come back now to uh, uh, our two friends, Yara and Abernathy, as Abernathy is finishing up his story. And then you remember the time when I told those squirrels that I didn't think it was fair to have that multi-tiered acorn collecting scheme! Yeah, <laughs> no, trickle-down acorns don't work. No, it doesn't! <laughs> it does not work! And then it's just destroying the entire squirrel community! Yeah. <laughs> we need to find your friend. We do need to find your friend. <laughs> the, 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 the acorns. Can wait. They can wait. They always can wait. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think I can track them. Survival check? Yeah. Yeah. Survival check? Absolutely. Uh, oh, yeah. Nice room here. So, uh, now Abernathy is skilled at this, so I'm going to give him a plus two. Uh, we're just looking for a ten. Who would like to roll on his behalf? And that's very good. Nice. 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 <laughs> Rolls a two, plus a two is four. <laughs> Not quite a ten. Now, so what I'm going to say, Abernathy is leading Yara through the city streets. All the sm uh, smells of the city, whether it's the tannery, <coughs> all the pubs, uh, they, they're kind of distracting. It's hard to follow his nose like he normally would. <coughs> And as uh, they keep going, they, they wander around. Usually, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can grab the scent, the smell of people's urine, but everyone keeps throwing their piss pots out the window. <laughs> oh, it's disgusting in here. This is why I prefer the woods, where you can just pee on a tree, and then nobody's uh, nobody has to step in it. <laughs> Unless they want to. <laughs> <laughs> this was a problem in the medieval era, to be fair. <laughs> yep. <laughs> now, this takes a lot longer for them to find this uh, factory, a lot longer than it should. To the fact that, to the point that when they finally arrive at the factory itself, they see this uh, grand stone archway. And uh, they can see that they, there are all these guards outside, these iron golems that are ready to go. They, that, that front door, that is probably the most dangerous way to go in. They can see uh, the uh, crumbling infrastructure of the factory. But if they go through the front, that's going to be difficult and hard. <laughs> There's a door right there! <laughs> Let's just go in and see, whoa, what's up there? 
Disguise personnel only. Disguise self. Disguise self. Uh, what are you disguising yourself as? What? You're turning into an iron golem. Yeah. So Yara uh, changes uh, her form into these like blocky uh, iron uh, pieces, and you are going to go forward. And I'm assuming this is a deception check. Yep. <laughs> Love it. Yara attempts to uh, uh, go through this checkpoint. Uh, who would like to roll on her behalf? She's yeah, going to get a plus four yeah. on this. Okay. Yeah, here we go. She's going to get a plus four on this uh, because she is disguised magically. Between an 18 and a 4. We got, we got the 18, right? And it did yeah. not. I'm so happy. I went to the 4. 4 plus 4 is an 8. Not good enough. <laughs> I have brought a prisoner. A. Excellent. Enter. Punching fist. Passcode. <laughs> you got this. <laughs> find uh, an underground uh, river that leads inside. Except this is not a river so much as the sewer system that runs underneath the city. They are, uh, they have to go through this huge smelling tunnels. It's making them not feel well. Especially after now, you're not used to such a concentrated smell. <laughs> I will take a wrong shoe over this. Is this city life, Yara? Is this how people live? They scream out tunnels? Like, sometimes, I guess. The only tunnels I've ever been in are badger holes. <laughs> they are way better. They actually, they actually are very nice creatures. They say, hey, come on in. We got some dead rats for you to eat, and you're like, thank you. You're so kind, and then you eat the rats with them. <laughs> I don't see why you have a problem with that. It smells like shit here. <laughs> now, as the two are crawling through, they stop for a moment, and they can actually hear movement up ahead uh, in, in the tunnel. And it comes up a series of these creatures with very spindly limbs. And they are like these round orbs with one eye. And they are all carrying like little buckets and they dump into the... Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> these are monodromes. Uh, they are these creatures that only can do one specific task. They follow uh, very specific rules. Wait. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm gonna grab a bucket and they dump it and see where they take me. Dump. The monodrone, not even noticing somebody's hanging off their bucket, they just jump away. Well, I'm gonna do that too! <laughs> Take our two heroes 
into the factory, they are still covered in all this muck and mire, and they still smell my elbow. But uh, as the monodromes come in, uh, where they are picking up all of this waste, So much. <laughs> that was just so bad. And, and they look around and they see in this room, there's a lot of discarded uh, parts of iron golems that maybe weren't finished correctly. Uh, errors that were made, uh, remnants of iron smelting. Look at me! I'm gonna get you! <laughs> your, your hand's like smoking. Oh, ah! That's right, I can't touch my pedal. Ouchie. Oh. Yara is looking at these creatures, at these uh, remnants. So I'm gonna actually give her an investigation check. Who would like to roll her investigation check? Ben, get it, get it, Ben. There we go. Higher the roll, the more information you get. Four. Thirteen. It's a thirteen! Oh. Not bad. So as she's looking at these things, she's realizing that the magic that's creating these things, this is not some conjuring magic, this is not some <laughs> other kind of magic, this is life magic. There, these things would almost be the similar thing as having souls inside of them. <laughs> Look at him! Oh, it's a real one! Oh! Yeah, I, uh, mm, mm, this isn't normal construct. Nope, this is like weird necromancy type S. I don't really understand it. It's not really divination or anything, so. Ooh. But. It's... These golems, even though they're uh, in pieces, start to come and uh, to activate. Uh, oh. Uh, oh. Uh, Yara, this one's moving! Oh. <laughs> okay, it's not moving anymore! Oh, oh no, JK! <laughs> <laughs> you run! You run! I will run! run. Oh, I will run! Okay, I'll go this way! Uh, where all the offices are, 
where uh, there might be all these books and everything. There's not a lot of metal in this area, which is fortunate. Although he does come into this space uh, where there are like what looks like uh, potted plants, but all the plants are dead. There are uh, these statues that uh, are uh, seated, uh, standing in all various kinds of poses. Oh my god, who didn't water you? Oh! Ah! I want to speak to your manager! <laughs> the manager steps out, this Grimlock, with once again no eyes. Uh, he's got like a nicely, uh, you know, combed hair. <laughs> and then uh, kind of like a very basic suit, all gray, this very dark gray skin. Oh. Gentlemen wanted to speak to our manager. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I have a little doubts now, but uh, you didn't water these plants properly. How dare you? Well, we didn't have enough spirit energy left. I mean, nothing. You said spirit energy? Yes! We harvest the souls, the spirits here is how we make everything. I'm not in charge, though. Um, I'm, I'm, as you may have noticed, I'm in the middle of management. I want to speak to your manager! <laughs> Very well. <laughs> Out comes another Grimlock who's a little bit taller with a slightly nicer haircut. <laughs> Andrew, why did you just understand you wanted to speak to someone in upper middle management? That's right. <laughs> yes, I have a complaint. I, 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 you are taking souls from people and using them to build things. That's a big no-no. <laughs> you say big no-no, we say company policy. I want to speak to your manager! Right. <laughs> and, this and this continues. The bureaucracy is nice and thick, but we are going to move over to Yara. <laughs> Yara has gone into the research and development wing of the factory. She finds herself uh, pushing open an oak door, and she uh, gets a distinct smell of formaldehyde that stings her nostrils. She sees this uh, um, uh, bed with all these straps attached to it. There's all these uh, jars with different body parts. Throughout on the floor, there are various stains of blood. Medusa, 
<laughs> and she she uh, keep her eyes averted. Uh, 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 just gonna stay in this yeah. groovy pool. Yeah. <laughs> okay, got it now. Oh, there, there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still here. <laughs> Can you really don't want to mess with my boss's work like this. <laughs> well, uh, I kind of do. That's, it's fun. Huh? What? What do you think it's evil to turn sentient beings into iron golems, huh? Well, yes. What kind of dualistic kind of morality is that, <laughs> is that huh? Okay, well, mm, rules aren't really the best thing, but you know, people live it. That's pretty cool. Um, uh, fight track? Indeed. Now, Yara is going to try to do a fight while not really seeing. Uh, so she's going to take a minus two on her roll because <laughs> I want her to not live. So, <laughs> same dude. This is me. I'm an evil DM. All right, who wants to roll same again? Dude. Hero. Same dude. Give me the guy. Someone just wants to roll on behalf. Yeah. Same dude. And you would like to roll on behalf of our Medusa oh. assistant? Oh, I'm terrible. I'll do it. <laughs> Please do. Go ahead and roll. The Medusa rolls a six. Yara rolls a ten, and even with her minus two, yeah. it's an eight. <laughs> beats the Medusa. Fireball. Service is the number one 
uh, go here at PCP. And, uh, and what are you exactly selling? Souls? I've been thinking about that for a while. <laughs> Pretty good. Thank you. <laughs> yes, you know, we dabble in souls. We dabble in uh, area control, I would say. Uh, you know, it's a, some would call it a mercenary army. Some would call it a uh, dictatorial kind of setup. Uh, you know, but uh, uh, what, what exactly is the issue that you're that you're looking at? It sounds a little more like enslavement to me. I would say so. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you are the top, the top guy. You're the top guy. Yes, I am the and CEO. You are okay. That means there's no one else above you. Yes, I'm as high as get. Great, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> <laughs> no, Drashir has been uh, uh, hiding his hair underneath this kind of cloak and even covering up uh, his eyes with like this weird band kind of thing. They're <laughs> <laughs> like cool shades. <laughs> it's cool shades. Uh, but now that he knows that he's under threat. Get a load of these souls! Yeah! <laughs> has gotten a peek of it. So I'm going to actually force a wisdom roll right now to see if he starts turning to stone. This is going to impact the final fight. Who wants to roll his wisdom save? I need a save. Save, dude. Anybody? Yes, let's go for it. Oh. Now, Abernathy feels his muscles tighten up. He's slowing down. He feels it uh, uh, taking over. However, Abernathy reaches deep inside of himself as he rolls a 15 and overcomes the magic. Check it out. Stone hand. <laughs>
one are you? Temporary. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 The cure wounds. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh that was fun!
Yes, life is disgusting, but it's not so bad when you have friends that can pull you through the muck 